At positive two. So we're going to go to the Y line and we're going to go to the two and we're going to put our dot. Okay, from that dot, where are we going? Up one over three. Okay, and you're going to do that as many times as you can on line one. So we're going to go up one over three. Up one over three. Okay, we can't go over three anymore. Okay, and then we're going to check the down. So down one over three. Down one over three. Okay, line one, how many dots do you have to make? Three. As many as you can. Okay, so all of them, but three on this one, yes. Okay, um, so we've graphed our first line. Line two, where does it start? Negative one. Okay, and what is the slope? What's the slope? Four over three. Four over three, so we're gonna go up four, one, two, three, four. And if you don't know, you're going to go over three. Well, which one makes sense? Over two. Yeah, that's right. My marker just drew, so ignore that. Okay, and notice how the one is black and blue on my screen. Okay, so line two, we only need to make, at, at the very least, you should have two dots. Okay, um, but you make as many or as little as you can. Okay, so um, we got both of our dots on there, or, or both of our lines. Okay, um, what is that intersection point? Three, three. Okay, so we always look either up or down first, which is at three, and then we look either left or right and see where it's intersecting. Okay, three, three, and that's about the only part that most of you guys are struggling on is that, that, uh, that coordinate. Okay, and that's just going to come from practice. Okay, number three, line one starts where? Four. At four. Okay, so well, again, we're using this number first. So it starts at four, so you're going to go to the Y line and put the four. What is my slope? One over one. One over one, negative. Okay, so we're going to go up one and to the left one as many times as you can. Somebody needs to turn on their music. And then down one over one. Down one over one. Down one over one. Okay, and again, don't copy my dots, just, you can copy the first or second one, but other than that, you just need to be counting, right? Otherwise, you're going to miss out on when we're doing it, okay? So down one over one, down one over one, as many times as you possibly can, and then draw your two dot, or your line. Okay, line two starts where? Negative three. Negative three, so we're going to go to the Y line and go to negative three and put our dot. What is my slope? Six over one. Six over one. So from that purple dot, you're going to go up six, over one. Over one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and over one. Okay, and again, notice how mine, okay, one is black and purple. That's our intersection dot, okay, that black and purple one. Okay, and so we're going to draw a line. Okay, take a second for yourself and write that coordinate down. Okay, that's the hardest damn part is write the coordinate down. Okay, take a second for yourself, write the coordinate down. Okay, what is that coordinate? Jaden, that's one. Put it up. Okay, it is one, three. Okay. So it's one, three. So we always look at our up, down first. Okay. And you can see that if we go up, you don't hit any numbers, but if you go down, you're going to run into the one. Okay. And then we either check right or left and you see that it touches that three. Okay. It runs right through it. So it's going to be one, three. Okay, number five, where does line one start? Negative two. At negative two. And it has a slope of two over three. So we're gonna go up two over three. Okay, to the right, up two. And we can't go over three again. Okay, so you can check the down two over three. Okay, to get that nice um, straight line there. Okay, line two, where does it start? Four. It starts at four. So go to the four and make your dot. 
What is my slope? Eight over three. Can I go up eight? No. no. Okay, now here's where it gets tricky is when you're forced to go down, okay? So we're going to go down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even if you're like, man, I don't know which way to go three. Well, if I go through here, am I intersecting? No. Okay, so I'm going to have to go here because we want the dots on each other. Uh, they cannot just go through the line at a random spot. Okay, it has to be dots on dots. Okay. Um, and so I can draw all this on the line. Okay, take a second for yourself and write that coordinate down. Just try. Worst case, you got to erase it. It's the only way to learn. Okay, even if you do all of the lines and you don't write the coordinate down, it does you no good, okay? The coordinate is the final, final answer, okay? So it's no different than you run through all the math problems and you never write x equals. You did all that stuff for nothing, okay? Uh, what is that coordinate? Anybody? It's going to be negative 3, negative 4. Okay, the 3's got to go first. So negative 3, negative 4. Okay, because we always look up and down, and then we look left and right. Top was one. Okay, seven. Where does line one start? Three. Starts at three. What is my slope? Huh? Three over one. Okay, so we can't go up three, so we're gonna have to go down three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Over one to the right, because it's negative. One, two, three, over one. Okay, line two, where does it start? Negative two. At negative two. Okay, it has a slope of uh, one over two. So if I go up one, I'm gonna go to the left two, but up and over is not gonna get me anywhere, okay? So I wanna go down one over two, so that way these dots can like intersect there. Okay, take a second, write down that intersection point for yourself. And again, that's the only way to learn is just trial and error. Okay, what is that intersection point? Two, negative three. Good job, Jaden. Okay, now, if you're still getting them backwards and you're writing negative three and then two, okay? Start off here on the X, okay? You're gonna have to go over to whatever number to get to this point, which so happens to be two. So if I'm at two, I can look down and see here, okay? And then go to the Y. I gotta go until I am on the same line as the, the point, okay? Which is gonna be negative three. Okay, number nine. Line one starts at negative one. And it has a slope of five over three. So we're gonna go up five, one, two, three, four, five, over three. Or down five, one, two, three, four, again. Okay, so those are the only two that we can do. Line two starts at what? Three. three. Okay, so line two starts at three. Okay, with a slope of one over three. Okay, and you can clearly see where those two are gonna intersect at. Okay, take a second for yourself, write down that intersection point. Just try it, it ain't gonna hurt nothing.
Okay, what'd you guys write down? Negative three, four. See, look how good you get at math when you bring your butt to school. Maybe you should stop getting sick all the time. Oscar said no. Uh -uh. mm. He did this, Jaden. I can't do it on the camera. Ops these days. Saying, moves everywhere. Okay, 11. Line one starts out at two, and we have a slope of up one over two. Up one over two. Okay, or down one over two. Down one over two. Line two starts where? At four. And it has a slope of up one over two or down one over two, down one over two. Yep, and what was this called? We learned yesterday. No solution. No solution, okay? And yesterday, nail and parallel. Okay, so why? Why is it no solution? Because it doesn't intersect. But why don't they intersect though? Yeah, so the slope is 100% perfectly the same. Okay, now if you have one negative one half and one positive one half, they will intersect because a positive line and then a negative line will cross. Okay, but because they're both exactly positive one over two, they're never going to intersect. So this is called no solution. I spelled solution wrong. Hmm. It's supposed to be going that way. And then you're going up and over. This line is, they're both negative lines. So you should have went from here, down one, over two this way. Um. 12, line one starts at negative two. And we're gonna go up one over two, up one over two, or down one over two, down one over two. Line two starts where? Negative four. Okay, so line two starts at negative four, and it has a slope of negative one over two, so we're gonna go up one over two this way. Okay, and this is where people get all tripped up because they're like, oh, they see that one over two, one over two on both of them, and they think, oh, it's gonna be no solution, so they don't even bother, okay? But it's not because one is positive and one is negative one, one over two, okay? So they are gonna intersect. What is that intersection point? Negative two. Good. Negative two, negative three. Oscar did it. I'm literally just saying it. You know why I think he did it, Jaden? Because this. I'm saying. Okay, last one, 15. It's going to start at negative three. And we're going to go up three, one, two, three, over two. One, two, three, over two. Okay, and then line two is going to start at one, and we're going to go up one over two, up one over two. Okay, so that one you have to do three on this time. Um, they still intersect, but you got to keep going for a minute. You said you have a question. Hold on. And then that intersection point is going to be negative four, comma, three. Okay, you guys have eight to do. Get your eight done and then put it in the box back there.